What's going on guys? Coming at you today with a brand new repaint. Today we're taking on the new Camp Cretaceous Dino Escape Carcharodontosaurus. I think I said that right. Anyways, this repaint was um, requested by Darth Lord 1997 over on Instagram and uh, they said you think we could see an Operation Genesis repaint for this dino? Yes, you can. I was looking for ideas. Um, to uh, repaint this thing as and I was going to do you know enhance the factory paint on it but it's actually okay just the way it is I mean a few you know stripes here and there and painting the claws would have made for a pretty boring video so uh, that was a great inspiration for the repaint so I appreciate that Darth Lord so um, I've never repainted this uh, I've never painted this uh, paint deco before or this thing I've actually never even heard of uh, the dinosaur in Operation Genesis, so this is going to be my first time repainting this thing. I had to do some research on it, but we're going to see what happens. Um, use the rule of cool and just sort of have some fun with this guy. Um, I'm going to start off first uh, priming him in black. Um, I'm going to try and keep it relatively simple in case you guys want to paint along with me. So uh, we're going to do a full black base coat first, and if you've watched my videos before in the past about dry brushing um, on dark you know uh, base coated figures that's what we're going to do here so i've got some really dark gray and i'm going to lay down some dark gray dry brushing over this guy go back in with a medium gray and i'm going to do the same exact thing just lightly dry brushing all of those highlights up i'm gradually building up that gray body color on him so i'm going to hit all the raised areas with that medium gray and then finish things off with a lighter gray very very light dry brushing with this one just hitting those raised areas and it's going to make the sculpt on this figure pop because it actually has a really nice uh, sculpt going on with it um, no soft areas or anything like that uh, real quality looking uh, sculpture on this thing uh, the designer did a great job so the base coat and the dry brushing section is done uh, now i'm going to get a little advanced here you can skip this section if you don't have an airbrush but uh, i'm going to go in with some of that light gray mix in with a little bit of red and i just want to sort of uh, give the gray uh, skin tone just a, uh, a little bit of warmth to it so I want to add some red to that gray and it's just going to add warmth to the skin just a little bit but you know if you don't have an airbrush don't worry about it you can just skip this part completely uh, I think the repaint will look fine without it this is just me being me and wanting to go you know to the next level with it a little bit uh, make it look a little bit cooler so I'm going to go ahead and lightly apply this uh, warmth color to its flesh tone and then go back over here with some straight red we got to build up that crest on top now this is not very accurate looking to what the figure or the model looks like in the video game but uh, we're going to kind of just play around and work with what we got so i'm going to take that transparent red and lay down a nice red base coat on that top part of its skull and then i'll go back in with some uh, a nice bright red and i'm going to lightly dry brush those raised areas just to uh, make all of the little sculpt on it pop and it'll just make it look cool and take it to the next level because that's what we're all about here guys taking things to the next level Alright, so now on to the deco on the body. So I kind of wanted to go in a different direction here. I tried some stuff with my airbrush. It just wasn't looking good. It kind of looked weird and boring and bland. So I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, keeping the spirit of the original design from the video game, but also kind of making this a little bit more toy etic uh, and making it look kind of, you know, cool looking and uh, stylized. So this is what I sort of came up with on this side here. Kind of wanted to test it out first before I went and just filmed everything and it looked like garbage uh, so I kind of like the way this turned out it looks really cool again still keeping with the spirit of the original design uh, but more you know like a different take on it or whatever but uh, this is a, a fairly straightforward process here we're going to go in with some thin down black matte paint with a fine tip brush and just sort of trace out and draw out all your little stripes and then go in with a, a chunkier brush and block in all of that black color on his back here very very straightforward uh you feel free to use creative licensing with this and do any kind of design that you want you know it doesn't have to be exactly like this uh but i think this just looks a little bit cooler with the uh, the way the figure is and it just sort of uh what's inspiring kind of seeing like the stripes and it, it looks kind of cool i don't know we're just kind of having fun with it you know freestyling if you will so uh when we're going to finish all of the black on this thing and then i will uh go and 
sort of trace in all of the uh, gray outlines all over the, the stripes. But we'll get to that in a second here. I'm going to finish off the uh, face, just putting the uh, stripes, final touches on the head area up here. And again, same thing, just sort of drawing them out with a fine tip brush and then coloring them in. It's coloring at this point, guys. We all we all can color, so this is going to be super easy for you all to do. Uh, so finish off the stripes on the face. And then I'm going to get some really light gray and thin it down uh, very, very thin. Not wash thin, but, you know, thin enough where it'll flow um, onto the figure. And I want to trace out all of the little black kind of designs that I've painted on here. It's going to help them stick out against that uh, gray skin because this is a very dark design dinosaur. Like the, the, the one from the video game, it's very dark looking. You know, it's, there's no real bright colors on it except for like the red on his head. But this is going to kind of help it stick out. So we're going to grab some yellow, go in, hold our breaths, and paint them little eyeballs that he's got. We're going to jump over with some bone color, Citadel bone or off-white, whatever you got. Paint those claws, and then we're going to take out our secret weapon, transparent burnt umber, thin it down a little bit, and we're going to use it as a wash on the nails. It's going to make them look gritty and very realistic looking, and uh, just kind of take those things to the next level and make him look cool. It's going to add a little pop of color also to this really dark sort of body tone. So I've got the inside of the mouth painted with a flesh tone, and now I'm going to go in with a fine tip brush and hit all of his little individual teeth. Normally, I would not paint the mouth in this guy since his action feature prohibits his jaws from opening and closing freely, and you're not ever going to see the inside of his mouth unless I prop it open, but the paint apps on his teeth were kind of weird, so I wanted to fix that. Uh, I'm just kind of using a little square wooden dowel to keep his mouth open while I do these bottom teeth so I don't get any paint rubs or anything like that. So the teeth are done going back in with that secret weapon transparent burnt umber you know we love it on deck and we're going to take it and um, wash his teeth in transparent burnt umber to make them look nasty and gnarly give him a little yellow gritty tone to him it's going to take him to the next level guys because that's again what we're all about here making it look cool so that's pretty much it for the repaint on this guy here but wait we're not done there is more we have to customize the capture gear that comes with him and this is what I love about this figure, the capture gear and the whole Dino Escape line. I love that the big figures come with it. Would love to see the smaller ones come with it too. Uh, I think that'd be really awesome. Uh, so this is going to be fairly simple. We're going to play off the gray factory plastic that this thing is molded in. We're going to take some matte black acrylic paint, thin it down with a little bit of water. Not too much. We want it to you know, get into all the little nooks and crannies and stuff. And I'm going to scrub it all, all over the capture gear trying to get it down into everything and then I'll take my heat gun here and blast it with a little bit of heat to help sort of dry the paint just a little bit not fully dry and then I'm going to take a paper towel and wipe all of the black paint off and leave the black paint down into the recesses and it's going to sort of stain the plastic in a way and kind of give it like it's a you know grimy dirty look it's going to make it look really cool um, and make it look a little bit more realistic than just straight uh, gray plastic so one more time with the heat gun, dry all the paint and make sure that it's super, super dry. We don't want anything to contaminate the next step. So now I'm gonna take some metallic silver paint and we're gonna dry brush all of the raised surfaces with that silver paint. It's gonna make the metal pop and make it look a little bit more realistic and make it look like actual metal capture gear. Wanted to add a little pop of color to this guy. So I'm going to take some red and I'm going to paint the triangle shapes that are on this thing just to give it a little bit of color, uh, make it not look so boring. And uh, I think that'll just really kind of help uh, make this thing look a little bit cooler. And then the final step here is uh, I'm going to take some uh, water slide decals that I have. And I got these off of eBay from uh, Bad Mother Tattoos. Uh, eBay store they sell all kinds of water slide decals I've used them before in videos you've seen them here I've got Jurassic Park Jurassic World engine logos and some leftover GI Joe stickers here from a uh, vehicle that I used but I went ahead and uh, put all the decals on off camera it's a little bit easier to get down in there to make sure I get everything lined up right but this thing looks really awesome now with all of the 
uh, little decals on all the engine logos and stuff and the the spare gi joe stickers that i had but this right here looks so cool very very easy thing to customize um, i have confidence and faith that you guys can do this too so that is going to be pretty much it for the repaint we are now finally done and we can go take some cool photographs over in the photo booth as always, I really appreciate each and every one of you sticking around and watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found the information provided useful and it has helped inspire your next repaint. If it has, remember to tag me over on Instagram at the Jurassic Park Compound because I always love to see what you guys can come up with. For more Jurassic related content, you know where to find me. Links will be in the description box below. You guys take care and I'll see you around the compound.